Hello, so I'm going to just show you how to use the file manager to upload files that you can use in your course or your blog or whatever uh, else it is that you are using on the system. Now, you may have files on your local hard drive. As you can see here, I've got these in Desktop Working Chapter 1. And you may want to use those in your course. But files that are on your local computer are, well, just that. They're on the hard drive of your local computer and they're not on your e-learning platform. And as a consequence, you can't use those files until you upload them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh show you how to upload those into a course. This is assuming, of course, that you have already added File Manager as a plugin to your course. So let me just do that again. So I'm going to pick this uh, demo for video course, and I'm going to enter it. <clears throat> you can see my about course here. It's all my lorem epsom text. Now over here you can see file manager and the reason file manager is there is because at some time in the past I've gone to con uh, to the control panel and I've added file manager as a plugin. Okay, so you click on file manager and file manager will open and it looks like this. It's kind of a bit ugly and this is because it has so much power. Uh, we're working on alternative ways to upload files, but for the moment, this is what you have. You have File Manager. So you can see that up in this region here, you can, you can create a folder. And down in this region here, you can see the folders that exist. Also over here on the left, you can see the folders that exist, both in the course and if you look down at the bottom here, you'll see my files. Those are my personal files that I have uploaded or where, where I might have uploaded files or where I can upload files. But since we're looking at a course, and the course is called Demo for Video, we're looking to create our um, upload our files here. Now, if you look <clears throat> back at my uh, files on my desktop, you can see that I've created a, a folder called Chapter 1, and in that folder I've put my files, the files that I want to upload. Okay? So that's the folder that I'm going to access, and you can see that the path for it is Home, Desktop, Working, Chapter 1. If you're on Windows, this will be My Documents, something, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what it is on a Mac. I've never used a Mac. Uh, by the way, this is a Linux machine. Okay, so we're going to first create a folder, and we're going to call it Chapter 1 because that's where we're going to organize our Chapter 1 uh, file. So Chapter 1 and Create Folder. Now, we might want to organize our files in the chapter in different ways. So we might, for example, want to put images and videos and, and PDF files in a different uh, folder within chapter. So I'm going to create another one called Images and create it. So now what you can see is that we are in inside of the folder Images, which is inside of... Uh, which is inside of the folder chapter one, images chapter one. Okay, so we don't need to create another folder. Now let's go and upload a file. So we choose a file here and we look for this desktop, what was it, working chapter one. And there you can see a drawing of the thyroid gland, a bit of the brain and the elementary system and the male and female reproductive system. Those are <clears throat> images that I use for a course. So I'm going to pick that one first of all. And now you can choose the license, Creative Commons license or full copyright. I'm going to put it under an attribution license because the source is under an attribution license. And let's choose the brain. And you can do these three at a time, only three at a time which is a bit tedious if you have hundreds of files, but I'll show you how to deal with that situation momentarily. And then you say Upload Files. So note that I clicked on the Upload Files button. And now you can see that in my folder, <coughs> Images, which is under Chapter 1, which is under Demo, demo, video, demo for Video, uh, you can see that I've got these three files, C1, C2, and C3. And... That's it. I've uploaded my files to my course. In the next uh, little video clip, I'm going to show you how to use those files in content. That's all for now. Thanks. Bye.